Hey guys, welcome back to a new video of Westland Survival. How are you guys all doing? I hope you guys are all well. So we have a new update, just came out of nowhere. So version 0.16.3, the heading is new walls and floors, new daily rewards. What's new? I'm going to read this out as I usually do. So uh, with this update, you'll be able to max up weapons and clothing stats using duplicates. Once the recipe level has reached fifth, further collected blueprints from tubes will give extra points to defense or oh, sorry, for clothes or damage for weapons. We have added new types of walls and floors for further upgrading your ranch basic walls and floor recipes have been changed okay we'll have a look at those as well uh, we have changed a list of daily rewards you'll get a new calendar once the old rewards will be claimed canyon of trials rewards icons have been changed the loot you can find in safes have been improved well that's awesome i haven't actually been able to show you guys um the loots that I've gotten from safes or anything like that. So I do really want to show you that now that it's been updated, will be a good time to check it out and I'll probably do that in a future video. So uh, stay tuned for that. The cost of speeding up construction and items productions has been reduced. Well, that's always good. And spirit cave improvements. We have adjusted the spirit cave balance and rewards. Cooldown has been changed from three to five days. Okay, so we got a longer time for the Spirit Cave. Uh, seal pieces will no longer drop in uh, from Spirit Cave bosses. Okay, you will get a whole seal to increase the uh, the cave level. Okay, so you just won't get the little bits and pieces. You'll have to um, you'll just get the whole seal dial. That's what it sounds like. If you have collected and put all the idols' heads on the altar you will find a seal inside the corpse lying next to the altar. A seal level will be equal to the max cave level you have cleared before. Okay, interesting. Fixes. Fix the Winchester Model 1892 icon. Other fixes and improvements. iOS update will be out a little later. So us on Android have already been given and grace the new update, which is always a good thing. So a couple of little key call outs here. Um, so the whole system about improving your flooring and everything like that. So I wanna see if I've got any of these. Oh, okay, look, you can see on the side there. Let's go around this way. Oh no, I haven't actually gotten this far. So let's see if I can upgrade that. I cannot upgrade that. Why can I not upgrade? What am I doing wrong? Ah, well, that needs to be upgraded first before that happens. Absolutely. Okay. So that looks pretty cool. I don't know what this is all about, but as you can see on this side here, you've got partial, um, partial stone, partial wood. Okay. And then the next one I'll need to do is the marble upgrade. It's going to take 10 ash, 16 um uh, sorry granite sorry what am i saying marble granite um steel plate and steel uh nails and the same there so it's going to be a little bit expensive to upgrade just thought i'll just quickly check it out actually what i read somewhere as well and i believe this was on the discord or as soon as i jumped into the game um i think it was late last night when as soon as it dropped i just jumped in for whatever reason i did it anyway um something about they've added marble or marble flooring and walls so if that has happened let me know in the comments guys does it require marble access, um, resources for you to upgrade because if that's the case well we should have the ability to upgrade to t5 in theory large should be close to being available well i would suspect that'll be the first resource that we'll have available because that'll give us the ability to go ahead and unlock the workbench to tier 5 that allows us to do marble block and i would suspect that marble would be available very soon so this is what i'm thinking right now that 
this update is basically the um, the lead-in for tier 5 resources. Don't quote me on that, but that's just the theory I have behind it. If you guys had jumped in and noticed uh, uh, something about marble, that's what I'm thinking. Whether that was a misprint or not, I'm not too sure because it's granite blocks for the next upgrade. So I'm thinking that tier 5 is not too far away. Question mark. I'm not too sure. So what I'm hoping for is the loot in the saves will be much better and would be worth our while to spend coins on it to do those type of runs. Now I know there's a couple um, there's a couple of videos that I've already seen that you can get pretty much a safe when you loot and raid a AI base, but that's 200 coins spent right there. And if you wish to um, on the spot unlock the safe that's an extra 100 coins so that's 300 coins for that endeavor so treat that as you will guys that's something that i'm not looking at doing just yet i might be doing that anyway just to sort of show you in a future video but not it won't be through for this video itself so i thought i'd just sort of go through that with you anyway and what else is there canon trials um icons have been changed no so the spirit cave a lot of people that i've read in this thread and post have um, discussed this and they believe that the the loot the is not worth it anymore well right now the enemies have been increased in terms of their attack and, and defense and things like that so that is concerning i feel but um we we won't know until we sort of experience it for ourselves so it's been a little while since we have gone down that way so I wouldn't mind checking it out at some point. Um, maybe I might do a run just so I can get hard mode activated. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. But we'll see how we go because I'll be interested to see what the the differences have been since the last time I've done it. Now, to be honest, I particularly don't go into the spirit cave a lot. I mean, it's just, just me. Um, I just don't have the need for it. I don't know. It does take a bit of time, so I, I tend to do other things to sort of keep me, you know, keep me going. Um, I don't know what, what you guys think yourselves. Is it beneficial going into the Spirit Cave? What do you guys get out of the Spirit Cave that makes it a, I wouldn't say a necessity, but what makes it a, a viable option? Or is it something that is a, a, a thing to, for you to go, to go into? I'm not too sure. Oh, that's right. I'm wearing the um, the clothing now, so this should give me a little bit of a, an allowance here without having any sort of problems. So we shouldn't have an issue with um, uh, animals in this space here. So I would suspect that getting through to our, our marker here should not be a problem, but what will be a problem is the uh, ability not to fight all the missing fragments. So that's what I'm after. So we can't join that up yet. We just need one more and we're good to go. And to be honest, this might be even a quick one. So not too sure how this will pan out. <laughs> we shall see how that all goes. Yeah, okay. So there we go, boom. And we've got the hideout location. So that was easy. Honestly, the last time that I, well, the last few times um, that I've been doing bounties here and there, I've had to leave and exit the zone and come back in and just sort of, you know, try and find all the um, all the fragments. It's just yeah, it was a, bit, a little bit of a slow burn for me. So the fact that I was able to get it this easily on cam, um, well, it's good. It's good. Um, surprising, of course. Ah. So the dire wolf doesn't like me. I haven't got enough spirit to to ward off a. Um, a dire wolf, but that's okay. And we've got the grey wolf there. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, that's not good. Let's quickly go and take these fellas out. One, two v one, that's all right. And should be one more. Boom. And I'll grab his meat. Do you have anything for me? No, not really. Let's just quickly heal up. And the grey wolf is okay. Awesome, 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 awesome. So what do you guys think about the update so far? It's a little update that's been added, so nothing majorly. Okay, I pissed off the dire wolf, so that's all right. Let's just deal with him, very good. Drop him on the floor, why not? Oh, 
I just keep attracting these guys. Why? 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 I don't know. You just sort of run casually. These guys are camouflaged from the minimap with all these um, oak trees that are floating about. So it is what it is. All right, who have we got here? Another die wolf. Okay. Well, to be honest, there's really nothing on this side here. So yeah, not a problem whatsoever. But anyway, the, the update at the time of this recording has been out for about the last 14, 15 hours. So what are your thoughts so far? Uh, let me know in the comments um, anything that I've missed. Um, let me know. I'm just going off the developer notes that I see on the Facebook page here. But like I said, I did notice some different information that was posted on the game when I spawned in for that first time. So that's something that I'm sort of holding on here as sort of evidence to suggest that once the next update rolls around, I would suspect that we could be in line for tier five resources. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm sure you guys will be um, hopefully over the moon for that if and when that happens. It has been a little bit since we've gotten ourselves tier four resources. So I'm thinking, well, is it time? It could be time. And that's what I would like to think. And yeah, I would suspect that that should not be far away, but that's just me. Like I said, I could be totally wrong. I could be missing the mark. Always, I'd like to think that I'm not missing the mark. But as we said, this is the fun part of um, speculations and everything else in between. So this is what I love. I love sort of speculating things. I like to, you know, discuss these type of things and all that sort of stuff with you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much the only reason why when we have these sort of videos that I can really go in and just sort of um, discuss it at length with you guys. And yeah, you guys might enjoy that as well. So some of you guys, you know, I don't know, may or may not enjoy it, but I know the majority of you like to sort of get in on this conversation. So this is where I point out to you guys and say, hey, let's have a chat. Let's talk about it. So as always, I want you guys to drop things in the comment section. So I want you guys to let me know your thoughts, what you guys think, what your own speculations are. Did you get that, um, that reading and description, what I mentioned beforehand? If so, do you think it was a mistake or do you think it's legitimate? So like I said, I thinking it's the latter, it's got to be legit. But again, it, I could be completely wrong. So this is where we'll have to do the old uh, wait and see. And once that happens and we get the new update, which I would suspect would probably be coming at the beginning of next month, considering that um, again, time of recording today is uh, Aussie time uh, 17th of May. Whereas the update for um, 0 0.16 did launch on May 6. So it has been over a week since that initial update. This was just like an increment update. So I'm not too sure what their thought, thought process behind it would be, whether or not they could easily just pop out this update without affecting the game too much or getting it or utilizing it, uh, this update to get the next update ready to go. So it may have to have been a case where you had to um, have this update come out first because there might be some additional framework or some additional elements that needed to be um, yeah, organized before the update does drop for tier five. So that's, that's another theory I like to throw out. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Um, but like I said, this is where I like to have that discussion piece. So I want you guys to sort of let me know in the comments as to what you think, uh, what that might be or what that might actually look like. So yeah, but we've gotten ourselves our, our marker. So he is done for. I want to head over to town, get our, um, our rewards and finish this video off. Not a long one, of course, but I figured I'd just sort of post this one out as it sort of came about because why not? Alrighty, let's head into town and get our little reward ski. Okay, here we are. I do like the new lay layout of this town. I think it's a little bit better. 
a little bit more structured. I do like the fact that I'm spawning in from the different area there anyway. Um, but I know it's a little bit confusing. I get it. So it is what it is. What I hopeful as well is that uh, Stableman Norris will have some future um, adventures and quests for us. Hopefully once the whole uh, wagon update settles down and we can sort of move on to bigger and better things. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, so we've got 115 coins, there we go. And as you can see, I'm actually starting to reel in some traction in getting a little bit more coinage back into our little um, inventory here, which is awesome. So just so I can start building up a little bit of a nest egg here, so to speak. And especially now with the update for the wagon that it's out, I'm not too sure how this is going to go long term in terms of utilizing oats, things like that. Do I have to start purchasing oats um, or running other, you know, little bits and pieces so I can get more oats to utilize the wagon? That's where, what I'm thinking about. Uh, so far, that's my thought process about it. I mean, I did go through a lengthy discussion about this in a couple of previous videos, just in regards to that very matter. And I think a lot of people seem to be in agreement, uh, sorry, in agreement to that. But what I'm thinking and what I'm hopeful of, especially if the update that I'm thinking about is around the corner and if it's going to be tier five related, I would think they may rebalance that a little bit more so we can get maximum usage out of the wagon. And there's safe uh, cracker Allison there. Speaking of the wagon, let's head back home real quick because I've actually upgraded the wagon to its highest so far, well for now until we get tier five. So let's race over. Um, you know what, let's just spend it. I should have used the oats, but that doesn't matter. But I can do some other things in the meantime anyway, so which is all well and good. Okay, so little things like that, that I'll be able to spend um, the coins on just redoing, um, sorry, replenishing my energy there. So let's have a look. So I am on stage four of five. To upgrade, this is what we're gonna need. So 20 large boards, 20 nickel plated tools, and 20 hemp fabric roll. Notice I haven't got any of those because none of those are obviously in the game. So what I've also noticed as well, if you get a safe, you cannot store anything else in that wagon which is really annoying because the purpose of the wagon is obviously extra storage ability that you can loot things, stay out longer in zones, things like that. But you won't have the luxury of putting items in once a safe is in, which I find a little disappointing. What I would like to see is that um, if you upgrade the wagon, let's say two levels, that the safe would block out those two um, rows and then the second two rows in this example would be still free and available for you guys to um, load up on loot and things that you get in your adventures or once we get level five done and dusted may, that may be a, um, a a thing I don't know and the other thing I would like to see is instead of possibly going down the pathway of getting more oats, why don't, or why, or a suggestion for the developers could be, is why don't they decrease the spent allowance on oats when you upgrade? So you think of it this way, encourages you to upgrade the wagon, but also by upgrading the wagon, the efficiency for the wagon goes up, therefore, oats usage goes down keep the oats as it is maybe maybe have one more avenue to try and find oats say out in the wild that's just a suggestion i'm just thinking about that out loud but let me know in the comments what you think about that so if the developers do watch my videos and they see that or sorry hear that maybe take that into consideration guys who knows just a thought anyway that's going to go ahead and leave it here for today as always, appreciate you guys stopping by. As usual, be sure to comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts about the update are. 
hit the like button if you enjoyed this one and most importantly if you guys are new to the channel liked what you've seen consider subscribing hitting that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos Alrighty, guys i'm out and as always i will see you guys next time